Alright, so today I'll be staying over here at Goodwood Park Hotel. It's like a heritage hotel. I think it's a UNESCO award actually. So it's a beautiful day, you know. It looks like a beautiful hotel, so let's see how the hotel experience went. Alright, so this is the deluxe Mayfair room of a Goodwood Park Hotel. So let me give you guys a quick tour. So you know, upon entering, you know, there's like this sort of lobby area, if you will. There's a countertop, you know, if you want to have some food, put some drinks, put some of your stuff as I did here, my key cards. Um, on the right, there's a full length mirror. And as you have spotted in the mirror, there's quite a spacious sort of backrest area. So you now if you have a lot of luggage, you know, you don't have to worry. Uh, this should be quite spacious enough. There's also, okay, let me close this first. There's also, as you guys may have seen, sort of like an auto sensor uh, wardrobe that lights up. Pretty cool. You get your standard iron, your complimentary slippers, and your bathrobe. And the torch light as well, I spy in the corner. I'll move on to the bathroom. The bathroom is nothing spectacular, I would say. It's a bit small, but it has everything you need. There's a scale to remind yourself of how fat you are. There's a toilet bowl, uh, but this is a traditional kind, you know. It's not the kind of consumer system. There's no BDA as well, so you know, it's a conventional uh, toilet paper wipe for you. On to you know, the sort of marble sink. There's a lot of complimentary toiletries provided. Let me just see if I give you a quick pick. So there's body wash, shampoo, conditioner, and body lotion. No, your again your old-fashioned sort of two temperature two knobs tap, and here you have a standing shower, but a bathtub as well. So the bathtub is quite small. I would say that you know this is only realistically spacious enough for one. But considering that the deluxe Mayfair room is you know the entry level room for Google Park, I'm quite surprised that even the entry level room is a bathtub. Now I'll move on to the main room itself. So here, you have a business chair. I'm not quite sure what brand this is, but uh, it's not Herman Muller, that's for sure. You know, you have some amenities. You have your phone, your notepad, complimentary facial mask, hand sanitizer. And something I've not seen before, actually, you know, there's actually a provided LAN cable. So, you know, if you're here and do some Zoom calls, you want to do some work, you know, this, I think, is a very good working desk since you even get LAN cables. Alternatively, if you're a gamer, you can game as well. I also see a... HDMI port, although it seems to be reversed, and a VGA port, so I assume you'll be able to connect to the television. Alright, so moving on, here you have like a lot of cabinets, you have a very huge TV screen, there's a minima at the bottom, so it's not a fridge, you don't store ice cream or what, uh, it's a bit weird, but it's cool enough to store like your drinks, your wines, etc. Talking about drinks, here are the complimentary drinks. So, you know, you have all the TWG, uh, Nespresso, let me just show you. There's some like your Nescafe pots as well, a kettle, complimentary stirrers, complimentary cups. There's also some uh, smaller cups, I assume these are for like spirits, uh, wine glasses, and even a wine opener. There are some issues though which I'll highlight later, but let me show you guys the room first. There's also a safe, so Google Park laundry bags, and an empty cabinet at the bottom. Here you have more of like a vanity sort of desk or mirror, so you know for ladies, you want to do your makeup and stuff, uh, this is good for you. There's also a little stool here. Here you have like a little folio of like your in house menu, in-room dining, amenity, hotel amenities and things like that, some information. Uh, you have a hair dryer, in case you want in-room breakfast, you have a breakfast booklet coupon thing. And the Holy Bible. Now I'll show you guys more of the room, we pan slowly. Here you have two sort of heritage looking chairs. You have some uh, very nice sort of photos of how I assume this used to be the building used to be like in the past, or at least the Singapore Singapore history. You have some of the channels that you're able to see here. So I like that they gave like a channel menu. So as compared to some other hotels, they keep flickering through the channel to see what's there. Here, you know, everything is um uh, for your information, right? There's a nice bedside uh notepad, again another phone, uh Philips clock. And I'll show you guys the main highlight of the room, I guess, which is 
this king size bed. Now you have, as you guys might have spied, you have this very heritage looking sort of uh, headboard. There's also this heritage looking and also sort of, uh, what do I even call this? Like a warm mural, right? So provide a very nice and romantic backrest, I suppose. You feel really like you're in a colonial building, like as if this was the 1970s. Yeah. Again, another sort of uh, little photo here of, I guess, someone making chapati, prata, I don't know. Yeah, there's also another marble tabletop here. Now, I'll show you guys the view. Here's the view. There's a balcony to, for this room, which again, a surprise given that it's an entry level room. But it's nothing much, you know, really just like a little balcony. So I'm not sure if I should say this, but you know, for smokers that want like a smoking room, a balcony, um, yeah, here's your balcony. I can smell the smoke already. Two lots of like lawn chairs, and here's the view. So this is the orchard area. So you see some of the rich people orchard condos here, and a little garden. Again, the view is not much, but uh, I actually quite like it in the sense that you know, it's pretty private. There's no one here, you know, as compared to I've just came from the hotel lobby. So there was like crying children and things, crying babies. Here, you know, it's a bit more private. So yeah, this is, let me guys slowly pan. This is the room. Now, on first upon first impression, it's not bad. But I'm going to ask for a room change and here's why. Because there are some cleanliness lapses that shouldn't happen at a hotel this stature. First and foremost, I found some stains I, I don't know if you guys can see i found some stains on the linen which again shouldn't happen uh while trying you know examining the chair and i can see like i don't know if you guys can see like some crumbs stuck in between the seats and some again uh, some stains as well which again unacceptable um i also noticed some again you see a lot of debris between the cracks okay like, i guess this won't really affect your everyday stay but it's just unsightly. But what broke the straw on the camel's back was really the cleanliness of sort of uh, some of the cups here. So you know, if you guys can see, the cups that I receive here in these rooms has stains on them. I hope this appears in video clearly. And the same goes for the wine glasses as well. You know, you can see very clear stains on them. So yeah, I think you know, especially in these COVID times, these are unacceptable. Now there's also very unsightly stains all across the room, so you can see some brown stains here on the carpet, which you know, it's a bit weird, like it's like tadpoles or something, but I guess it's supposed to mimic leaves. But that's not the point, I can accept the design, what I really kind of accept is like the various stains that you see here, it's all across the room, these sort of unsightly brown stains. So yeah, as nice as the room initially is, I'm afraid I probably will ask for a change. If they do, you know, give me a different room, a room upgrade, I'll show you guys the upgraded room. Okay, so I complained about the previous room and they gave me this upgrade to this deluxe premier room. So let me show you guys uh, the bathroom first. So upon, you know, first impression, the bathroom is much more spacious and modern. You get a bigger bathtub uh, with this sort of sliding door thing. So it's easier to come in and get out of. Uh, you even have this sort of cool extendable shower head. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm looking to have a good, nice soak in this. Over on the toilet bowl, so whereas the previous room, the toilet bowl was more traditional, here you have a concealed uh, system, although there's still no bidet. But yeah, overall, you know, the bathroom looks more, much more modern, much more, you know, looks recently renovated, which it probably is. It's a full-length mirror here. Show you guys the room. Now, I'm not quite sure what this door is. Uh, it can't be open. I'm assuming it's a connecting door to the next room. So here you have the room. Let me just slowly pan. Yeah, pretty nice, isn't it? So here you have, you know, this very nice sort of like wooden uh, walls. You have nice, you know, little couch here so you can move it and lie down or watch the TV. Or actually, probably a third person could sleep here, probably. With a nice king-size bed. This marble backrest. You have a nice little mirror here. Here you have a very well lit, very well designed sort of uh, cabinets and alcoves. 
the kettle. Now, whereas previous one, I had to stoop down to open the thing. Here, it all opens up like this. You know, all the cups, all the uh, tea packets, you know, are all nicely laid out here. Again, although I'm quite, it's a bit of a disappointment to see instant coffee. I assume I will upgrade, they have an special machine, but it looks like it doesn't. But what they did upgrade was sort of this uh, chiller, which as you guys can see is bigger and more spacious now. You can fit a bottle of wine with no problems. Uh, over here, the cabinet is also more modern, it's a sliding kind. You have again, safe, ironing board, and bath ropes. Alright, so as you guys can see, right, I definitely like, like this room more. It's a bit more airy, a bit more spacious, a bit more modern. But still that sort of a little bit of the heritage touch because of the white marble and your dark carpentry. From my understanding, you know, this category of rooms are recently renovated with only the room that I was in, the Deluxe Mayfair room, uh, not receiving and benefiting from the renovations. Which can be seen now here, everything looks very clean, very modern. The ground as well, the flooring is wooden, so you don't have those stains that we saw the previous times that really uh, dampen the experience. Yeah, very high ceilings, again with the ceiling fan as well. Overall, uh, I much prefer this room. I think, you know, if you're looking to book, go park and this, and this room, the Deluxe Premium, I believe they call it, it's just a small upgrade, book this instead. The view is much better as well, even though there's no balcony. So let me show you guys the view. There you go. Very nice, and you can see a swimming pool as well. Uh, yeah, I'll probably get a dip in the pool later and show you guys. Alright, so this is the main swimming pool of uh, Guru Park Hotel. So uh, this is the there's two pools here. This is the bigger main one. So it's surrounded by actually, you know, your different uh, apartments. There's a restaurant at the side and there's a main coffee lounge in front. And of course, it's surrounded by, you know, very large greenery and lawn chairs. So it's pretty big, you know, definitely I think Almost enough for like a full lap. You know, in the afternoon, I saw people just chilling there, uh, reading some books there. You can see some watching a movie, I guess, in the room. So, yeah. Pretty crystal clear the water. A pretty good view, too, especially I think in this uh, sort of sunset uh, timing. Yeah, pretty nice. Overall, you know, I think the vibe is like a very so sort of resort style-ish. It feels, doesn't even feel like you're in Singapore to be honest. It feels like I'm transported um, back to the 1990s, perhaps somewhere in America and in Europe. That's the general vibe that it has. It even has like a, a open shower, not an open shower, but a place where you can rinse off and a live boy there. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go in for a dip. I'll see you guys perhaps in the next pool. Ciao! Oh yeah, fun fact. So that's my room over there, as you can see on the second floor with the window, with the curtain open I mean. So yeah, you know, if you want to look at people frolicking in the pool, uh, my room has a pretty great view. Or you could just stay at the restaurant, I guess. Uh, actually, yeah, I think what I say about the pool looking clean. So upon closer inspection, just as I'm about to go in, you can see like some dead breathing, some hair or leaves, I don't even know, man. Just floating on top of the pool. So needless to say, you know, it's not uh, the most ideal, the most inviting. So yeah, fix this. If you can, go park. Uh, actually, it's worse than I thought. So I think, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like some insects, dead insects just floating on the water. So yeah, it's terrible cleanliness, I'm afraid. Okay, because the main pool was so terrible and the hygiene standard and the cleanliness, I decided to swim here instead, which is the uh, smaller, more private Mayfair pool. So upon first inspection, you know, it definitely looks better. You can see like sort of like a it's like a Bali sort of enclosed resort vibe. You don't really feel like you're in Singapore even. Uh, and for and unlike the previous pool, there's actually you know some spare towers available here for guests to again some lounge chairs. The pool is smaller. I'll take a look, and it definitely looks cleaner. As you can see, you know there are multiple guests swimming in it as well. So yeah, overall, you know if you guys are planning on having a swim here, of course, the swimming pool is a very big attraction in any hotel. If you guys are planning to have a swim here, I highly recommend you know swimming over here in the Mayfair pool instead. Okay, and this is the 24-hour gym over here at uh, Guru Park Hotel. So, you know, uh, upon here on my left, upon entering, you get a phone for some, in case you require anything. Uh, TV, remote, water. I love this, you know, they have like towers but wrapped in plastic, uh, which is an additional hygiene measure, of course. 
Okay, I'm not a gym expert, but I know you can see some gym equipment here. Of course, with the uh, safe distancing measures implemented, a few benches. Here you have some treadmills, but I think uh, not in use. It's, you can see under maintenance. Uh, some elliptical, some bicycle machines, and of course, a few free weights. So yeah, I think it's an okay gym, it's a decent gym. Not the best or most spacious one that I've ever been in, but I think you know, if you're looking for a quick workout, uh, this will get the job done. Alright, so now I've checked out a uh, Google Park Hotel. So, uh, what do I think? So my concluding thoughts. Well, let's start with the positive, right? It is a heritage hotel, so there is a sort of heritage charm. You know, walking through the building, the architecture, you get this sort of colonial feel that I think Apart from Raffles Hotel, you don't really get uh, with many hotels. So I appreciate the colonial charm of the hotel, you know. There's only like three stories and, you know, uh, yeah, butlers. And the service, I think, was one of the strengths as well. Along the way, you know, the service was very personalized. Every time I make a call, you know, address me by my name. Um, the butler helped me carry my bag to the room. So I would say that, you know, the service is definitely one of the strengths of a uh, good park. That being said, you know, I think there are some shortcomings. Uh, definitely the cleanliness lapses will make up a bulk of them. I think some of the cleanliness lapses were unacceptable, right? Uh, in the room, you know, uh, some of the glasses still having stains, being plain dirty, the chair being plain dirty, having food residue, you know, and over the swimming pool, you know, having like dead insects floating on the surface of the pool. I think those are unacce un unacceptable for like a $200 five-star hotel. Uh, the room as well, you know, uh, if you have read my review, watch the previous preview. Didn't, if you didn't skip through, you know the previous, uh, segments of the video, you have watched that. You know I got upgraded to a deluxe premium room. The room was not bad, but I think when uh, newly renovated, but I think you know the bathroom had some issues as well. Uh, I think the, sh the shower was like oscillating between hot and cold. Uh, on the whim, you know, it made like weird draining noises throughout the entire night. And overall, also very a lack of privacy. The walls are very thin, doors not very soundproof. As I was walking through the corridor, I could hear you know, the sound of like children giggling and I could also hear the sound of like passionate child making, if you know what I mean. So there's a lack of privacy as well. So yeah, I would say um not the worst stay I had, but overall an underwhelming stay, I think definitely, especially for the price paid, especially for the expectations. Um you see how it goes? I'll probably write like a formal feedback letter to, to them in the near future and if they invite me back, I'll show you guys uh, an updated version of the, of, the, of the hotel, like I did with the One Ferry Hotel. Alright, and that's all for this uh, hotel staycation vlog. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, uh, do subscribe and do share around. As always, see you guys in my next video. Ciao!